Oh. Sure, we're Gooch. It's weird. Okay, we're Gooch. Looks like we're Gooch. Alright, Silent Time. A lot of cards that we don't have available early on. Uh, like, I feel like the shift stuff is, like, kind of worse at the start. Don't have, like, accuracy available, I don't think. No Catalyst. Catalyst is a rare, right? Or uncommon? Got Bouncing Flask. Got Fumes. Catalyst, yeah, so, like, a lot of the really... Or stuff that I think is, like, really strong for Silent, you don't have access to at the start. So I think this one's going to be interesting. Usually go for the max HP. So no three elite, can only do two. And if I take that right path, I don't like seeing a shop that early. If I take the left path, could have a late shop. Could have the early shop if I get something from this that makes me want to go that way. Campfire after the elite fight. Only a couple campfires. Um, yeah, I like the left path. Noise. All right, good first fight. W. Oh boy. Three uncommons. I don't know. So Tactician, I think it's too early. I don't like taking a block card as my first card reward, but unless it's like a really good one, and it is a really good one. Caltrops is a pretty nice, like specifically for this boss. If I don't want to take a leg sweep. I could just take this. You know what? Just for the sake of being different, I would normally take leg sweep. That's why I'm doing it. Yeah, getting rid of a strike that early is kind of sus, but uh... Ooh, it's especially sus in this fight. Ooh. Um... But uh... I think it shouldn't be too bad. As long as we get an attack... Hard reward uh, from this fight and never kill you next turn. Probably. We can always block this turn. That. Five damage in this fight's not too bad for missing a strike. But yeah, obviously we need to fill that slot. Yeah, already gets pretty interesting, right? We have a deadly poison or a sucker punch. Well-laid plans, I like well-laid plans a lot, but double power on the first card rewards, that's kind of bad. Uh, so it's between these two. Probably has to be Sucker Punch. I still think we're a little low for that early shop. These next few card rewards are going to be uh, pretty important, I think. Let's just do like that, that, that. Yabish. Let's kill you. Kill you. Quick Slash is not my favorite, but I'm adding it. We need more... Damage. There's just not really a way around it. First fight that, like, kind of blows. I could use the poison, um, but I... Probably want to save it for whatever elite we're going to fight. I have a lot of options here. Probably always playing Survivor. It's going to have to figure out which one we want to kill first. I think we're going to kill the slime first. I'm not even sure if that's correct. I think we're just going to take the damage that we're going to take. And just try to kill a little bit quicker. And we'll take three here, but I just want one of them off the map.
This is the turn that sucks. We know we draw two attacks next turn. Ugh. That blows. Uh, unfortunate. That's... On the other hand, that's fortunate. Can't quite kill you yet. So not the greatest start, but is what it is. If I took that other deadly poison, I'd take the second one. Um, but we probably just take Blade Dance. Blade Dance is a lot of damage that we just added to our deck. Yeah, I guess the poison would have went pretty well with the potion. Um, but I'm not really going the poison route at the moment. Poison route could still work. But I don't know. There's just some cards that you're missing on early level silent that I feel like makes it kind of rough. Caltrops, I might as well play it. It's not going to do a whole lot against you, but I might as well play it. And then I think we just play nothing. I had two weak. It's not a bad turn to start the fight. Poison going, which will... Do quite a bit of damage, actually. Get these blade dances out there. Nice. Uh, before we get debuffed, uh, I really want to kill you. So yeah, we'll take some damage, but I want to play my damage. Twenty-five, losing a little bit more health from the poison. So close to death, but so far away. Oh, would you look at that? Nice. <laughs> Good stuff. Pretty close. Incense Burner's great. And then I think we just add a footwork. Leg Sweep's really... Leg Sweep really wants to be added to the deck, huh? It's another power, which I don't love so many early powers, but like, come on. Make it work. Our damage kind of sucks. I think I want to upgrade that. Go ahead and upgrade the blade dance. Let's think this through. So we got, holy shit, <laughs> we got 16 damage right here. Uh, 19, another 8 from that. So we can, I'm pretty sure we could like full send kill you, but not quite the jaw worm yet. Sucks, I really wanted to be able to play a block card. I guess this is our way of blocking. I think 11, yeah, the health sitch is obviously not ideal. I just play the strike. Eh. There we go, that's a turn. So, like, these floor fights and elites might be kind of rough, but I feel like the boss fight we're already kind of well set for, maybe? Somewhat. I want to upgrade... Low-key, I want to upgrade the Caltrops before we fight. Um, Hexaghost. This really wants... Me, game really wants me to take Leg Sweep. Apparently. But do I really want to take Leg Sweep? Still think we need more damage. Like a Flying Knee. Leg Sweep, I'll... Uh, if you keep showing up, eventually... That's pretty good. Eventually, I'm going to take you. Oh, well, we got to shop anyways. Don't have enough for these relics, which is unfortunate. Ink bottle, I would have considered I'm not doing a prismatic shard. <laughs> Even though it's kind of fun. Um, unload. I'm not a big unload fan. I don't know. I think it's just kind of whatever. 100% doing that. Striker moves are still kind of sus. I really want, like, one more good attack card, which, I mean, I guess, but... Discard all non-attack cards in your hand. 
I guess there is some, uh, it's kind of convenient against you with the burns and stuff. It's just generally, like, I usually don't use this, and this is a situation where I kind of want to use it. You know what? It's first run. Like, let's do it. I changed my mind. <laughs> We're going to try it. Take the elite with 28 HP, maybe more. Hit that other shop with no money. Let's just take the combat first and then we'll figure out what we're doing. Bag of Marbles Incense Burner going super hard on same turn. Don't think footwork will be necessary. Well, this is a good combat. I was just trying to think, like... The next combat would be... Not the Elite. So don't... Work on the Incense Burner here. Maybe do it in the next fight, if I do want to take the Elite. I could just add another Blade Dance. We have no AoE. I'm just gonna take the blade dance and then I think we're good on damage for a bit. I think we're finally to a point where I'm like, okay, you know what? Some decent attack cards. Now I want like a can't think of what it's called at the moment, but the 99 vulnerable card. Error. Um we take this question mark and then we'll think about it. Okay. I guess I'm removing I already removed three strikes from my deck, so that's pretty neat. What's the balance? 17 cards in the deck. 1, 2, we'll count it. 3, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, it's not that bad. A couple powers. Like, more powers than I generally take in Act 1. I want to take it, man. Or we go this route. Hit another question mark. Maybe we get, like, a heal or something. Then go for it. Not really the fight I was looking for. But we do have a really good turn one, so... I think this fight should be pretty good. Just because that turn one was great. Incense Burner on four. And yeah, what number I want Incense Burner on, it depends on what elite I'm fighting. I mean, where it's at right now is, like, good enough against Nob and the Sentries. And we can't fight Lagavulin again, back to back, so... It's gonna be one of those two. I guess the number it's on right now is better against sentries. <laughs> Just removed another attack. Do we add another one? <laughs> See, it's like, oh yeah, add another blade dance. But I guess the only thing that plays into is uh, we could get the relic. The zero cost attacks do more damage. But yeah, you don't have, I don't think accuracy is a thing yet for us. So I don't want to add, like, too many blade dances, because our, our final boss is going to be Time Eater. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll just take a Dagger Spray, because it's going to be sentries. Every time. Strip the artifact with uh, Bag of Marbles, and yeah, Incense Burner is on the right number for this fight. I just ripped this right away. It's really good against them. Against this, it's kind of whatever. This is really good against Hexaghost. Yeah, let's just rip this. I'm trying to think. I think we play Blade Dance for sure. Can I kill you? I think we play Dagger Spray as well for sure. So just rip those two, and then we'll think about the rest. <laughs> so yeah, I can kill you, which I actually don't mind here, because we know we're not taking damage really to... uh the other two next turn. Like, normally you'd target them, but here I think we don't. I think we just kill you. I was thinking about playing Caltrops in this fight, but I don't think we need to. Hell yeah.
Alright, we'll take one damage. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I can live with that. Maw bank. Alright. Whatever. Bullet time. Don't really think this is a bullet time deck at the moment. What you could do is take bullet time and then be like, yeah, I'll get a Sneko Eye. But, like, that's not going to happen, bro. It's going to be really funny when it does. I could just throw an after image in. That's the reason for all the blade dances, right? Obviously, that combo is, like, really good. Sure. Three powers in my deck is, like, kind of a lot. But, uh... I think we can... Uh, well, I think we always smith here. The question more so is, like, what do I upgrade? For this fight in particular, I actually like this. <laughs> but, like, for the rest of the run, you upgrade this, probably. But if we don't get past this fight, then there isn't a rest of the run, so... Gonna upgrade that Caltrops. And we're gonna fight the heart. Nah. Um, okay. So we've got a lot of options here. We're gonna rip this right away. I'm gonna rip you right away. If this was upgraded, I'd play it. Well, you know what? It's not upgraded, but I could still get too weak. So I suppose we do that. Because of the neutralize in hand. Thank you, Bag of Marbles. I don't have a Terror yet. Perfect. Uh, that's, that's okay. Galtrops, baby. Not having a Terror means this fight is still kind of, like, not ideal. After Image is going to be really good, though. It's going to allow me to play so much attacks without having to worry as much about the uh, like chip damage that we'd be taking. Oh, this turn fucks. I just got 10 block. I didn't play a single block card. We're getting into sus territory. need good turn this turn, which it looks like it is a pretty good turn. Lamau. Nice. Yeah, geared up for uh, Hexaghost really well. Uh, these are all really good. But, like, what do I want, though? What's really fun that I could use Burst with? Honestly, not a whole lot right now. Burst is, like, probably the most meh right now. I guess an upgraded Blade Dance. <laughs> um, so I'm, like, probably going with one of these two. Blaze is so, like, generically good. Alchemize, I know, like, in theory is really good, but then I use Alchemize. I use one energy on it in a fight, and it gives me, like, a smoke bomb that I never end up using. So I don't know. I'm going to go with Malaise. Yeah, see? No, uh, no Sneko Eye. Could have went that route. With Alchemist. Would have been interesting. Tiny House, Empty Cage. When was the last time I played a run with more than three energy? I feel like it's been a while since I've taken a boss relic. I know it's only the second one of these on like this save file, but I've been playing some other ones, and yeah, I just I feel like it's been so long. Uh, we're empty caging. So through Act One, successfully got all the strikes out of my deck. That's pretty cool. What's the attack balance look like now, though? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For eighteen, yeah, that's not ideal. I want to add some more attacks. Yet again. Yeah, the attack balance isn't great, but on the bright side, my attacks are way better than they were before. Act 2 Elites. Um, if I upgrade Malaise, 
then we could probably uh, dookie on the book. The other ones, I don't know. I don't feel very good about slavers. And then the gremlin leader is like probably fine. That's kind of how I, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. But we can only fight two max anyways, so I, I'll probably just do that. We have a lot of gold. We can take the shop after that second elite. Like that path. This hit some question marks. Hit you. No, we want to do like. Hmm. Maybe we want to do like this path. Hit you. We have a campfire after. Yeah, that's pretty safe, relatively. As long as my elite fights don't go like super bad. It's kind of annoying. I wish the, uh, yeah, I wish that was on the next turn. Unfortunate, weak, or frail. Oh, this turn, though. I believe you are dead. Not too bad. Um, I need to start using my potions. Let's get rid of Gambler's Brew. Fire Pot will be good for, uh, Elite fight. I could just throw in a dagger throw. I don't mind a dagger throw. Decent one. One of 20? We're gonna go one of 20. Easily. Super easy choice there. The hard thing about this one is it's just like, dude, what do you take? I have no scaling. I need to find, I have this whole act to find a way to beat you. How am I doing that right now? I don't know. Honestly, don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, and double footwork's a lot of... A lot of defend. Like, we probably don't need another one. Fumes? I don't think Fumes is going to do a whole lot against them. Good double, double footwork. So now, like, defensively... Pretty good. Let's keep working on the offense. Happy flower? Yeah, that's really good, actually. That's really good. Birds? Uh, we should shit all over birds. Take that out of context. Um, but yeah, because you just play this, and then you play that. And then they all die, essentially. <laughs> Eventually. Yep. <laughs> Caltrops, you're... Proving your worth again, I appreciate it. <laughs> One damage. Not bad. Kill hook plus. It is an upgraded attack, but right now I don't have this upgraded, I don't have that upgraded, and I don't have that upgraded. So it's like kind of... I think I'm skipping. Let's look at that mob bank value. Cool. So I could... Alternatively, we could go this way and take an upgrade first. And then just assume that we'll do well in the fight. And you know what? I actually kind of like that. Let's take the campfire first. Let's upgrade. And then we'll take the elite fight. So there's a lot of good options. Generically, the best upgrade is probably malaise. Because, like, I don't know. It's just good. It's just a good upgrade. But, like, yeah, I don't know. Is there anything else that really speaks to me? Like, those are obviously decent. These are decent upgrades, too. But let's go with the, the generic option. I say that because, like, 
nine times I'm upgrading this in this situation. That's why I say that. <laughs> Malaise is like an easy upgrade target almost every time I get one. So this is a this is the one that's nice. Um, that was not planned. I planned one of those earlier. That one was not planned. I'll take it. This is one of the elite fights that I was kind of like, I don't know. Like, I feel like Book of Stabbing we should do pretty well. And then again, like, Gremlin Leader I feel like should be decent. This is the one where I was like, I don't know. So I'm curious to see how this one goes. Um, I think we play After Image right away, and I think we neutralize. And I think we Blade Dance for sure. And we just kill, kill, kill. I could use the Fire Pot now. Could use the Caltrops or the Dagger Spray. Probably the Dagger Spray, because we have the Vuln. I guess we're not going to kill you yet. We'll just kill you next turn. I'm not going to use the Fire Pot. Yeah, obviously Incense Burner is uh, the big difference maker right now in this fight. Why do you have to be at 6? Damn. I just do this, I guess. Six damage right now in the fight. Which is like, so far so good, you know? Okay, cool. Well, I wasn't really sure how well this one would go. I think Incense Burner made a big difference. Fight would have looked a lot different. Although, I probably would have Fire Potted. And maybe I should have used it anyways. I'm just kind of holding onto my potions right now. Oh. Now, well, actually, you know what? This is actually kind of a hard choice. Because, like, Adrenaline, again, just very easy, obvious, good choice. Uh, But I do need a way to scale. Like, you're not... I don't know, this fight is like really sus right now. And Deadly Poison helps with that. But it's like, do I have enough time to work in poison? And like make it work? I don't know if I do. So I think we just take Adrenaline. It was worth thinking about. Right, it was worth thinking about, that's unfortunate. Um, but it's just not, I don't know. I don't think it's the play there. I think I will throw the footwork in here. Uh, good start. We basically kill you on turn one. So that's good. And let's make sure we do kill it on turn two. I suppose. Just rip the uh, artifact. Yeah, showing our def that's the thing. Maybe that's our key to that fight, is we're just going to have good enough defense. Because, like, double footwork is kind of cracked. And then the after image, too. And then the malaise, too. Like, maybe we just block. Like, maybe we just do enough block. And we get there. It's possible. Love the sound of just ripping a million shivs. Incense Burner is on a nice number, probably, for an elite fight. I need to start using my damn potions. I always say that, but, like, for real, I need to start just using the damn potions. Like, just, just fucking use them, bro. Um, the Blade Dances are really good because of After Image. Oh, my God, I can't wait to fight Time Eater. I'm so looking forward to it. Um... <laughs> But a uh, piercing whale is a night. I always like having a piercing whale. Like I like just having one. I could take another blade dance though. <laughs> blade dance is such a good card. My defense is already pretty good too. But I will add a piercing whale if shown it again. 
Mob Bank's actually getting some really good value here, I think. I don't know what the exact number is, but... Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Um, let's do a little bit of you. You know, I don't take a whole lot of damage this turn. I don't need to kill any of you. <laughs> like, I could kill you, I guess, but... I'm not going to play any of the defense. I want to... Ah, Caltrops. You're actually doing stuff. I love it. Go ahead and rip that. And yeah, we're pretty well set up for this fight already. I think we just... Yeah, yeah. Rip after image and then we just focus you down. Probably. Yeah, let Caltrops damage those. Oh boy. Sucks, man. My damage. Where'd my damage go? We don't take a whole lot here, right? Yeah. Is it finally time? Start getting you guys off the board. I don't even know if that's worth it. Well, worked out right there, didn't it? Eh, it came up again. Yeah, I just I really just want to kill you now. Yeah, the upgrades on blade dances are really good too, because obviously it's more damage and then it's also more block. Bottle tornado? Uh yeah. Um, okay, I think we're picking up this Wraith form, and I think I'm just gonna... It's just gonna be the oh shit button. <laughs> Essentially. Like, a lot of fights... We'll try to work on our draw now, because a lot of fights it's just gonna be a dead card for a bit. Uh, it's funny, we don't need to upgrade this if I just put it on that. Like, low-key, what would I rather start off with? The after image or a footwork? I think just the after image, actually. Because, again, I don't need to upgrade it. It's just kind of funny. But, like, with all the blade dances and stuff, it's pretty good. And then hopefully we'll get, like, an energy relic and it'll get even better. So I could take another campfire. I'm going to take the shop with 487. Maw Bank, you've done enough. Oh, yeah, we have a mill ticket, too. Oh, I'm not one to pass up a mummified hand. <laughs> we do have a decent amount of powers in this deck, too. Yeah. Not one to pass up a mummified hand when we have access to it. Ice cream is actually kind of interesting, too. Maybe now's the time we get mummified hand and well-aid plans. Well-aid plans, we could do some good stuff Uh, in this next fight. Like, if we don't get to play a certain card, I could hold on to it. Um, I could always hold on to Wraith form. I feel like I'm adding too many powers, man. But, like, they're also just good cards. Do I add a backstab now? We offset a little bit? Strength Pot? Strength Pot's a way to make this fight go a little bit better. I'm, like, kind of... I'm, I'm trying to get, like, all damage, all in undamage in my potions. Try to kill this fucker as quickly as possible. Like that, and then I'm good. We're not going to remove a card in this one. I already moved all my strikes. I could remove defends, but with double footwork, the defends aren't that bad of cards, honestly. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one of them is sauce. Yeah, the attack balance is still not amazing, but I don't know, man. I have a mummified hand now. Like, I think this is not too bad. You know, it's not amazing, but like, it's it's also just not that bad. Yeah, we're going to get to do some really stupid stuff now. Damn it. Come on. Ah, come on. <laughs> Don't think it's worth it. Well, that was a really good turn for the... Make the case for the... Uh... Mummified hand. While you're weakened, let's uh 
kill you. Yeah, I'll just hold on to the wraith form. I'm okay with it here. Ah, one damage. So I'm still not really sure how I feel about the boss fight. Really wanted to. <laughs> I swear to Bob, I was literally just gonna say, really wanted to find a terror. That is pretty sick time to show up. And we should be able to. The artifact shouldn't be that big of a deal, right? Like we have a lot of ways to strip artifacts. We have, uh, literally have bag of marbles. We've got multiple weak sources. We've got malaise, which is great for that. Like, just plenty of options. Plenty of options. Um, Well-laid plans upgrade is really good. Wraith forms a target. All the footworks are targets. Adrenaline's a target. There's a lot of good stuff we could do. Ha 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 ha. No. Um, let's do... So many good options. Like, probably you? It's probably you. I think it's you. I think the well laid plans upgrade is like really good. Like so, the other ones are pretty good. I feel like that one's really good. Fuck yeah. This fight's kind of annoying for uh, shivs, but you know. Is what it is. We still do some damage. Nice. Well, kind of. I just go Wraith Form. Like, we could probably kill you in two turns, right? Like, if I go Wraith Form, like, you're probably dead. I think you're probably dead. Yeah, I think so. Hopefully I'm right. I mean, our deck is way more skills, right? Well, there's a lot of powers, I suppose. How many skills do we have in our deck? One, two, three... Because I'm counting the attacks with blade dances, right? So yeah, our, our deck actually is pretty skill heavy. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like almost half skills. So like somewhat, almost like a 50-50 that we just get five block for free. I can't wait to fight Time Eater, man. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, we're obviously upgrading. So this one's kind of tricky. Maybe Adrenaline. Just accelerate what we're doing. This could upgrade Wraith Form. Wraith forms my oh shit button. It gives me some time. Gives me a whole extra turn to kill it. That's pretty powerful. Hmm. I'm gonna do adrenaline. I'm gonna do adrenaline. I've got potions. I think we'll be fine. I probably will upgrade Wraith form eventually. Okay, turn one. So immediately, I think we pop you. Uh, and you... And probably Caltrops, too. I'm dropping bars right now. But the Strength Pot... It's a lot better. Do I play the Caltrops? Yep, 
Yeah, we get a free play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, we play it. Yeah, yeah. no question. Mummified, mummified hand, yeah, you just gotta play it. I kinda wanna play my other stuff before I play Malaise on you, you know? Like, I could do it now just to strip the artifact, but... Nah, we're just gonna play the malaise. Uh, we're gonna do you. I don't have well laid plans yet. Well, I'm just gonna take Wraith form now, right? Or no, isn't it just draw pile? Uh, losing adrenaline kind of sucks. Bad turn for incense burner. What turn do you want incense burner in this fight? I don't even know. I'm gonna be honest. Like turn five-ish or something like that. Okay, now we get to go to work. The late plans at the bottom of the deck, yeah. The next turn is well, that's good timing. Because I might do it. I might play it. Take the damage. Again, I think we want to keep you. Problem with playing Wraith Form now is I have to kill the fucker really quickly. And my follow up turn's not that good damage wise. I suppose it's not. Hmm. Nah, yeah, I mean, I do have to kill it pretty quickly. Which one took adrenaline? It's this one, right? What if we do something weird? What if we, like... Maybe this turn's a little more open-ended than I think. So you took adrenaline, and then you took... Unload. I don't know. That's really unlucky. <laughs> I just re that's really unlucky that that didn't draw a skill. Um I don't know if I need to play the Wraith form here. We full heal after the fight's over. I actually don't think I need to play it. But I'm leaving it kind of open-ended. <laughs> no, I don't need to play it yet. So I suppose we don't, right? That actually went really well. 38? 35? That was... That was great. That turn fucked. And now unload really sucks, right? Like, earlier it was good, now it really sucks. Eventually it'll draw a skill. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh... <laughs> Old Looch would have taken Phantasmal Killer. New Looch, I think I take Nightmare. I think Nightmare goes really hard. Nightmare opens up some funny ways that I can uh, just do some really stupid shit. We could Nightmare on Footwork, we could Nightmare on After Image, we could Nightmare on Wraith Form, we could Nightmare Well Laid Plans, that's kind of dumb. Um, like, this is pretty good, but like, come on. With the Mummified Hand, I think you have to. 
right? Like, without the Mummified Hand, I think Phantasmal Killer. I'd probably take it, actually, but... With the Mummified... Oh! You have to, right? Especially with the Mummified Hand, it actually kind of makes that better, too. Yeah, I feel like you just have to, right? Most of the attacks we're playing are zero. And then we can even make some of the ones that aren't zero with the powers. So, yeah, like, you just got to take Wrist Blade here. Otherwise, it'd be Hovering Kite, probably, I guess. But we don't have that much discard stuff going on, right, in this deck. We have, like, a little bit, but not really a whole lot. So, yeah, this is just, like, super easily Wrist Blade, I think. So, yeah, we don't have Accuracy. Don't have access to Accuracy, but we do have Wrist Blade, so... That worked out. How many Elites can we fight? Is it two again? I believe it's two again, right? Looks like two. Still have a decent amount of money for a shop. Do we have a late shop? We have like a mid shop. I can take this right path. Fight the elite. Take the mid shop. And then go up the left and maybe fight another elite or take a campfire or do whatever the hell I want to do. Well, we'll go with that path. Alright. Immediately, uh, after image. And adrenaline. And Terror on the one with the most health. <laughs> I mean... Let's test this out, right? Let's test the waters here. Can we draw into the other ones? Not super quickly. The way this fight's going, though, I think we do it, right? Like, either way. Ah! Uh, damn it. Well, this might be kind of rogue. One term, uh, turn, we need to go really ham. Uh, you're, I should have just killed you. Uh, no, this is probably fine. Maybe not the best way to play that fight, but it worked out. Oh, what's our boss? Okay, it's not Time Eater. It's not Time Eater. We're probably not... The energy is still kind of a problem for this, right? Like, we're probably not using Nightmare for Wraith Form. We're probably using Nightmare for Footwork. Or After Image. Depending on when we draw it. That's probably the play. Because that's like very playable. And yeah, it's totally fine. Okay, leg sweep plus it's finally time. You showed up like a million times this run. It's finally time. I don't really see a need for it. Wrist blade already going super off, which we'd love to see. Damn, almost killed, or do kill you, actually. Holy. Holy. Hey, eventually you'll draw into a skill. Eventually. I believe. Here we go. Hmm. Just kind of meh. There's cards I could add, but it's just kind of like, 
whatever. I think we need him. And that's what it is. I think we just don't need him. I just look at what we just saw, and I'm just like, I don't know. I don't really think we need any of it. Alright, terror, footwork, footwork, damn it. Uh, eventually you'll draw into a skill, bro, I believe. Unfortunately, we do take damage here. You know how well that set us up for the boss fight, though? Eventually... I'm actually going to do it. It's either that or backflip. Well, now that I know we're not fighting Time Eater, fuck it. Alright, just don't mess up and get a curse. Yikes. It's honestly impressive at this point. It's like really impressive. Yeah, what do we want at this point? We want draw. We want draw. This fight's kind of annoying. It's just kind of tedious. Holy shit. I can't believe it. That's the first time it's hit. I've played how many? <laughs> oh, we're on a fucking roll, dude. We're on fire. That's fine. All right, let's just. I'm. I'm done with you. Yeah. Redditor, plus, some more draw. More damage and draw. I'm kind of looking for more draw and damage. So, yeah. I, I'm, I keep seeing the second terror, and honestly, I'm kind of considering it. If I see another second terror, I might add it. Because in this next fight, I mean, there's definitely some merit to it. Um, We're fighting this one, right? Yeah. Nemesis, I think we should do pretty well against you. We have some pretty... I, order. We have some pretty good stuff that, uh... I feel like hard counters Nemesis pretty hard. That was a good sentence. Um, but yeah, like, I, I think we should do pretty well against you. And before this turn, we take a million damage. It's not too bad. I mean, we definitely take some damage, but... Not the best draw in the world. Yeah, we take some damage. Tease with the tease. Ah, we don't need to, right? What we need to do is draw the defense on the defend turn and draw the attacks on the attack turn. <laughs> Damn it! Ugh. Motherfucker. I guess well, eight plants helps with that, huh?
think we need it. God damn it. Oops. That's fine. Nemesis just tilted me. I think there's a world where we go through this fight and, like, don't take any damage, but... Not the one that we live in, unfortunately. It still wasn't that bad. That's a really good relic, though. This fight was absolutely worth it. That's a really good relic to add. Dude, I'm, I'm actually down for an acrobatics. But we get the meal ticket right away, yeah. That, that second terror is just like... Just staring me down. Card removal. Let's uh, remove the unload. Because we are never playing that again. It it was good at the time. I don't regret it at the time. But now, get that shit out of my deck. Pendib is more damage. Which is nice. That's Again, that second terror is just... It's just, it's just tempting me. Another escape plan is funny. Um... Hmm. Infinite Blades is, like, honestly not that bad. It's like a guaranteed... It's not my favorite power, but, like, it's a power, so we have Mummified Hands. So that makes it better. We've got Wrist Blade. we got Ornamental Fan. It's like a lot of things going for it. There's also a lot of stuff that's, like, probably just better. Orange Pellets is nice to have. If I had the money, I would have gunned to Tori immediately. It's kind of a tricky one. I don't know. Um, I like a lot of these options. Why it's so tough. <laughs> I like a lot of these options. Uh, I'm thinking it's between these two. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna take the infinite blades. I actually don't think it's that bad. I don't think we need the orange pellets. Maybe I'll regret it. What about this time? Oh! That's what I'm talking about. Interesting uh, silent run we got going here. I'm liking this one. It's a weird one, but pretty fun. If we weren't a new account, there's some cards that we'd probably get that would go so crazy. But, uh, this is what it is, you know? Doing so many different things now. Weak potion. I'll just keep what I have. I like the potions I have. Another leg sweep. I'm not adding any of these other cards. I guess Slice has a, a wrist blade sin synergy, but it's like, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. It's like funny, but it's, I don't know. I would take another blade dance. I'm not taking a slice. I, the only question here is do I want another leg sweep? Sure. My deck is so loaded. I'll take another, uh, Acrobatics, because my deck is so... <laughs> my deck was kind of thin at one point. How did the fuck... How did this happen? <laughs> the weird thing is it doesn't feel that big. But it's fucking huge. I swear it doesn't feel that bad. Go for the special relic. Now nah, let's just take a free upgrade. There's a lot of good choices. Give me more decks on a footwork, because I think I'm going to play footwork with Nightmare. I think that's my my uh, long-term goal with a Nightmare here. 
I was thinking Nightmare Wraith form, and then I forgot how much fucking energy it takes, and I'm like, oh yeah, well, that kind of blows. That's probably not happening. I, I'd have to have really perfect setup. Like, I'd have to have the well aid plans already played, and then we Nightmare Wraith form, and then I play one. If it doesn't hit on one of them, then we hold both. Ah, it's like I'd rather just play it on a footwork, because that probably wins anyways. It's it's still really good. Or again, if I get to play it on an after image, I think that's pretty good too. Just don't, yeah, just fine options. Strip the artifact, I guess. Ooh, it's tough. Ornamental fan, you're so good. Eh, nice. Yeah, our deck's starting to pop off. I think. This is, a, this is a trial, okay? This is a test. I, <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. There we go. No. Come on. Ah. Uh, oh. Damn it. All right. Orange pellets. I might regret it. I could throw this in just to throw it in, but I... Eh. Can you do Nightmare on a skill, too, or...? It's just any card. I guess I would just... I'm so used to doing it with powers, but it's just any card. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Um, we're not doing that. I was hoping that I hit Blade Dance. Oh boy! Do I ever just gun Wraith form and just see what happens in the following turns? I think that's exactly what I'm doing. I really don't want to take a million damage here. Fuck. This turn kind of sucks. Wanted it to be better. No more Wraith Form, yikes. Uh, but Incense Burner gives us another turn of Wraith Form. We'll, we'll call it that way. <laughs> we'll call it that way. really want the combat to end this turn if possible. Okay. Alright, nice. It could have been kind of weird, but wasn't too bad. I would add another acrobatics. Especially an upgraded one, yeah. That's like kind of what our deck wants at this point. Just want to... Be able to find the cards that I need uh, quicker and more efficiently. Um, can we use a potion in this fight? Honestly, yeah. I probably do. This fight's kind of spooky. I don't really like it.
Okay. Okay, we're pogging. Yes! Alright, this is such a good turn one. Holy shit. Aw, oh, come on, man. I guess I could just do this and then Caltrops will kill you. That works out really nicely, doesn't it? What a turn one, dude. At first it was like, oh, I don't know, and then acrobatics went fucking hard, and then... It was actually a really good turn one. At first... Yeah, I wasn't wasn't too sure about it, and then... It ended up being really good. This turn two, though, kind of sucks. Yeah, let's use a potion here. Okay. Now we're talking. Okay, now we're talking. You know, the nightmare hasn't been amazing, but uh, it is what it is. Damn it. Hey, now it's starting to hit. Look at that. All right, that was a great potion. That just saved us uh, a lot of health. Holy moly. Like, it was actually a ton. And the fight's over. Okay, that was a fight where things could have went really poorly, I think, and instead we get through taking no damage. That's a good one. That's a good one. Blur is actually a good addition, too. I think Blur Plus is actually pretty solid here. I think it's really good. Transient, I don't think you should be that big of a deal. Unless I have a draw that just like makes me want to cry. But honestly, I, I don't think it'll happen, I think. I should have nightmared Blade Dance, bro. That would have been funny. But, like, actually, though, I should have done it. Oh, damn it. I thought it hit. What is happening? I'm just jamming the deck. Let me play. Oh, I don't know. Well, I plans in play. Never mind. Oh. Fuck. Our deck probably has too many powers. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. It's good enough to win on this Ascension... Take it. I could have went for the roll. I probably should have. Good stuff. He says the deck probably has too many powers. I see a Caltrops Plus, I consider adding it. <laughs> because it's kind of fun. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Um, nah, it's Backflip. Backflip Plus is a totally fine, good good addition. I think we just... Uh, you know, honestly, I think we just rest. I just don't think there's anything like... Is there an upgrade that I really want? Like, there's upgrades I could do, but it's like... I, I feel like you might as well just take 18 HP and just... And just win. Hopefully. It's usually the easier boss. I hope it is in this case, too. Um, No Nightmare turn one. I was hoping to do it with After Image, but maybe we'll get to do it with uh, Footwork later or something. Uh, so let's go ahead and jam you. And you. Um, And then we'll think about it. So we do After Image for sure. Infinite Blades for sure. I could just strip artifact right away. And then... Yeah, we'll save you. We'll save you. I don't know what I'm using you for yet. Not bad. Not bad. Nice. 
I'm doing it. I wish I had a happy flower next turn. Nice, really good turn to draw Adrenaline Plus. Really good turn to draw that. That was, yeah, we're GG. <laughs> okay, there you go. There, there's uh, the pop-off from, uh, from Nightmare. It took a bit. Just most of the hallway fights is just unnecessary. Right? Most of the hallway fights is just unnecessary. God, if we had calipers too, it'd, oh my god. Things would go insane. Ah, uh, you're still not stripped of artifact, really? Eh, whatever. Honestly, we don't need the terror. <laughs> I thought it, I thought it'd be really helpful, but the way this is gone, we don't even really need it. Oh! Nunchaku is incredible. That was a really good find, too. Just so much stuff coming together. You're dead. That's great. Where's my well aid plant? Is it the How many times has it been at the bottom of the deck? Okay, it's at least twice, but I feel like multiple times it's been, like, really close to the bottom. If not literally on the bottom. That was such a waste. But, uh, yeah, GG. Looks like we built a deck that, uh... Like, some of the floor fights were, like, okay. But the boss fights were just... Were so well set up for. Like, every boss fight. Planned them out really well, I guess. Sure. Sick, uh, colorless pot, dude. Well, it was like the setup took a little bit, and then once we got set up, it was just ridiculous. Oh. Two pretty good runs to start off with. Which one? I honestly think this one was stronger. I mean, technically, the Ironclad one was stronger because it's infinite, and once you get there, you just win, but, like... I don't know, man. Infinites are kind of cheesy. This deck was more straight up. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so we get some of the poison, some of the good poison stuff. I mean, mostly, like, these two. Are like really big. So I didn't go for poison that run, but I could uh definitely work some more poison stuff in now. Let's go. There we go. That was run number two. Not bad. Took a little bit. Uh, but not crazy long. You know what? It's early enough. I'm uh, I'm down to do defect right away. But 